Hello, this is Bob Gray Sr. Welcome to Ministry Moments. Lord willing, every Friday, 3 o'clock Central Time, we'll come to you with this broadcast. And I hope you'll subscribe. Uh, go to Ministry Moments YouTube and subscribe. That way you'll get it automatically uh, every week, uh, every Friday, 3 o'clock live, if you want to go live for the broadcast. But you'll get it and you'll be able to look at it and when it's convenient for you. Now, this is a holiday season. I guess you can tell by that tree in the background. <laughs> Somebody said, you you guys worship that tree. I told them, no, I worship what's under the tree, not, not the tree. But I want to talk to you, I guess maybe about holidays and then kind of veer into uh, Christmas Sunday uh, and and chat with you about it and some things that <clears throat> that I've learned and some things I've learned to do and not to do during the holiday season. And uh, so let, let me just give you my introductory remarks here. And number one, you need to get the attitude, I'm going to attack the natural low days. Every year, <clears throat> there's going to come times when you have natural low days. I remember one year, July 4th came and oh, it, it just was horrible. Everybody gone and just the pits. And I, I told myself the next week, oh, that'll never happen again. And the next year, I big campaign for July 4th weekend, big uh, America campaign. And God blessed. And we had well over 100 salvation decisions on that weekend because I made sure it wasn't going to happen again. Well, then that morphed into the idea, okay, then why not for the rest of those natural low days? And so I kind of dev developed a, a, a uh, plan to where to make sure that I attack those days and not let them Hurt, hurt the ministry. So things like Labor Day weekend, things like Thanksgiving weekend, things like Christmas weekend, New Year's, Memorial Day, July 4th. When those days roll around, you have a plan and you plan to attack those natural old days. Now you're not looking to have record days, but you want to take that low and make it a little higher. Uh, you, you're not going to set attendance records or anything like that, but you'll have the satisfaction that you did everything you could to keep from God's work being hampered or hurt uh, by a holidays where everybody in the world's gone. I'd like to go where everybody goes. It's a, yeah, preacher, I went to church at Christmas, but then I talked to preachers all over America and they say our tennis was down. Everybody's down. Well, somebody's not going to church, but anyway, uh, so you've got natural low days. Again, you're not trying to break records or anything, but you want to do better than the low. You want to, raise the low and make it a little higher. Uh, no, number two, when, I'm just introduction now, aren't you proud of me? Just introduction. Number two, when, uh, when enlisting leaders, let them know you expect them to be there on these holiday weekends. So when you enlist, enlist leaders, you make it up front, make it very clear, I, I'll be here. I will be here. I'm not going to take vacation at Christmas. I'm not going to take the holidays off. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But let your leadership know that when you enlist them, that you expect them to be there with you, right beside you, to attack those low days, those holiday weekends. Uh, tell them we're going to have Sunday school as usual. We're going to have the bus ministry is going to run just as regular as could be. Uh, soul winning will be just as regular. Now, sometimes if the holiday's on a Thursday, you have soul winning on Thursday, I would move it to Tuesday uh, or Monday. Uh, I, I could see that. I can understand that. But when it's a holiday weekend, you need to have your soul winning right at the same time. All right? Now, let's focus now for the sake of this, uh, this ministry moment. I, wa I want to focus on Christmas. Let me focus on Christmas. Um, so just some thoughts that maybe might, might help you a little bit. Um, it, the entire month of December, I would set it aside for a targeted teaching and preaching about the Christmas story. So we would celebrate the entire month. Now, I would decorate. Oh, I love decorations. I love it. Now, we got where we grew the decorations on the outside. I loved it. And uh, on the inside, so my wife would laugh. Every time she'd come in, there'd be a new banner up. She'd say, look out, he wants money. But uh, I like the decoration. So I set aside the entire month of December to celebrate 
the Christmas story, teach about the Christmas story, and um, and do that with that with that emphasis. All right. So number one, celebrate the entire month of December. I'm just giving you some ideas here. Number two, Sunday school lessons on the Christmas story. Every four Sundays or five Sundays, whatever it is, I would have Sunday school lessons. The entire Sunday school, all the at our heights, we had 171 Sunday school classes, and all of them taught about the Christmas story. Different one Sunday would be one thing to, and so it, a Christmas story was taught that month. Number three, we had toys for the bus riders. We would get our people to buy toys, and we would have toys for that Christmas Day weekend, uh, whatever it may fall on a Friday or Saturday or whatever. But we would have Christmas for the kids who rode the buses and made a big, big deal about it. We even had a Friday night program for the bus ministry, and we gave toys out. And then we gave toys out for that Sunday that uh, of the weekend that Christmas Day fell on. So it, it was one way of promoting the bus ministry, making sure that the bus kids were loved and cared for, because let's face it, a lot of them that rode the buses and came to Sunday school of, uh, during December, most of them weren't going to get gifts. Most of the ones we reach are those who are poverty stricken and live in a single parent home and are struggling. And we want to let them know that we as a family, church family, love them. And so we would, we would push the congregation to buy toys and all. Oh, it was a wonderful thing. We just, and I love telling the Christmas story on the Wednesday before Christmas day. I would, that Wednesday night, I would pull my chair out, sit down and bring all the youngins up uh, 12 and under onto the platform. Oh, I would just be packed one end to the other. And then I would tell a Christmas story from biblical, Bible, scriptural Christmas story to those youngins who were there. So that was, uh, kids looked forward to it. And of course, we had special music. We'd have the uh, some instruments out in the foyer or out front and playing Christmas uh, carols. We would do that and have all of the different choirs on that Christmas Sunday have a special. That way, it, uh, it we wanted to really go the extra mile. Again, I asked the leaders to be with me. I'll be there. I'm not leaving town. I will be there. Let's be there together. And instead of this being just a low time in the year, let's make it a high time. So we celebrate the entire month of December, the Christmas story. Number two, Sunday school lessons on the Christmas story. Then we gave toys for the bus riders. Then number four, we had a Christmas party for the bus ministry and the bus riders. And we run our buses like on a Friday night. We could run all of them. We had 40 routes. We could run them all, but we ran the local uh, area routes and we had a Christmas party for the kids and everybody got uh, toys. Then we had a, a special Christmas sermon on that Sunday morning. I didn't preach long. What, now, Christmas Day may have been on Thursday or Friday or Saturday, but you know that Sunday, that's when uh, we wanted to emphasize that Sunday. If it hadn't fallen on Sunday, even better. So a special Christmas, Christmas sermon I would preach on that day. I also would have a Happy Birthday Jesus offering. Now stop and think about it. If your son had a birthday party, and everybody else got gifts but your son. He would say, what in the world? What's the mentality here? I don't understand this. Well, this is Jesus' birthday. So if we'll spend more money on everybody else than we will on Jesus, there's something wrong with that. And I would emphasize that. So we had a happy birthday Jesus offering. We could use it uh, for the parking lot. We could use it for air conditioners. We could use it for different things. But we want to give Jesus a happy birthday present. And so that last Sunday of December, that's when we had that offering, and all, and God blessed it. How about this? We we gave uh, hams, and we gave turkeys away, and we gave a ticket. You had to be in Sunday school to get it, but you came as one year. We gave over 865 65 turkeys. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Our people would buy them. We would uh, raise money for it, and uh, <laughs> I'm sometimes was surprised that the rich people in town who came and got a ticket and stood in line with their collar up and got one of those free turkeys. I guess they, they want anything free. That's how they got rich, I guess. But we would give uh, free hams and turkeys away to adult visitors, adult visitors who came to Sunday school. And uh, it made a difference. Again, we'd give them a ticket, say, okay, after church, now you can go over 
and, and stand in line and you'll be able to get your turkey. And it was always a big, big thing. Now, uh, we could do that on Thanksgiving weekend. That would soften the blow there. Or we could do it on Christmas Day weekend. That would soften the blow there. You could give turkeys at, at Thanksgiving, give hams out at Christmas. But people people will come. And you push it, you'll have, again, you're not trying to rake, break record attendances here. You're just simply saying, I'm not going to let this be a low, low. I'm not going to do it. I don't want that. I'm going to make sure that it's a, our low is higher. And every year we try to beat, beat that, what we had that year. Again, not trying to break attendance records. We could do that with the spring campaign and the fall campaign. But here's the Christmas Sunday. Let me back up and review a little bit. Attack the natural lows. Have a, 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 something about you said, I've got to attack these natural low days. Uh, days like Labor Day weekend. Days like uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas or New Year's or Memorial Day or July 4th. Um, I had one bad July 4th weekend and boy, it really burned me and I, I felt bad about it. It just shouldn't be. And so that's when I came up with the idea. Every one of these low days, I'm going to, again, not trying to break any attendance records or anything, but just a bolster that day. So it's not a blah day. Then, uh, when enlisting leaders, let them know I'm going to be here and I want you to be here right beside me. Sunday school as usual, bus routes will run. Bus ministry as usual, bus drivers, we've got to have you here. Bus captains, we've got to have you here. And soul winning as usual. And now they, they can take their time off if they want to go see family and stuff. Of course, I said, let the parents come see you, you know. <laughs> but if you want to take that, that off any other time, that's fine. But if you're going to be a leader, I expect you to be here right beside me. Now, the month of Christmas, the entire month, we celebrated the Christmas story every Sunday. Uh, Sunday school lessons for the Christmas story. We had toys for bus riders on that Christmas day weekend. We had the Friday before a Christmas party for the bus, bus ministry. And we had toys. And, oh, it was a big, big deal. I would teach on a Wednesday night, all the children. I would uh, take the pulpit down. And I would have a seat in a chair and have the kids around. And then we would give toys out to all of the kids that were there. And then we had a happy birthday Jesus offering on the last Sunday of the month. Makes sense. It's his birthday. Shouldn't he get a gift? And he ought to get more than anybody else gets. Uh, and then we would give free turkeys away on the normally Thanksgiving weekend. And if you want to, you can do it on the Christmas day, the last Sunday of the month. And a ham, give that away. And give put tickets out in Sunday school, the adults only. And say, okay, every adult that has a ticket, you can go over and get in line and get yourself a free ham or a free turkey. I hope this will help you. Just some ideas. Uh, don't let don't let these holidays destroy your spirit and destroy the spirit of your church. Don't do that. You attack these holidays, these low days. You attack them. Come up with some again. Not trying to break any attendance records or anything, but I don't want it to be a low day, a despondent day. And I'm dead sure not going to shut 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 church down on, on Thanksgiving weekend or Christmas weekend or New Year's Day or whatever, uh, or the 4th of July, whatever those days are. I am not going to shut Sunday school down. I'm not shutting church down. We are going to do just like we have always done. And we'll have people saved, people baptized. That's exactly what we're, our goals are. And uh, you attack these days. Well, I hope that's been a blessing and a help to you. Do you see your gift under the tree there? Do you? <laughs> I hope that you'll have a wonderful holiday. I hope you have a great time. And uh, whatever you do, don't leave Jesus out of these holiday seasons, especially Christmas. Of all the, oh, Jesus wasn't born in December, one guy said. You give, you give it a birthday offer to him. He wasn't born then. Said, it was in June. One guy wrote me a note and said, it's in June. I said, then bring your offering in June. <laughs> No, it was in July. Okay, then bring your offering in July. You tight what? You just don't want to give an offering. That's what it is. And again, we're not worshiping that tree. Now, we're having a lot of fun with what's under the tree. But uh, I hope there's been a blessing. Hope there's been a help. God bless you. Have a great weekend of soul winning. God bless you. And I pray that a lot of people will be saved and helped during this holiday time. God bless you.